Hello and welcome to Rules Kitchen. Christophe Rull here and today we are going to make a beautiful madeleine. You know those little treats that look like a little shell? Are you ready? Put your apron on and let's get started. So let's go over our ingredients. We have two eggs with one egg yolk, sugar, AP flour with baking powder, or 82% fat content butter, and our vanilla extract. So the first things we're going to do is melt the butter in the microwave. You want it melt, but not too hot. Okay, so our butter is melted. I am going to mix, 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 just to make sure it's nicely and completely melted. Voila. And then I'm going to put it on a side. During this time, we put our eggs inside our bowl. Voilà. Mix, mix, mix. Then we add our sugar. And of course, the recipe, as always, will be in the description down below. So once your eggs and sugar are well combined, we are going to add our flour and baking powder. And it's better sifted. Otherwise you might get lumps and you don't want to get lumps inside your madeleine. Then we can add our butter. And then we add our little vanilla extract, about half a teaspoon, and then mix, mix, mix. And of course, you don't have two, but you know by now which is my favorite citrus. And if you're new in the channel, you should catch up because I am using a lot of this lemon. It's a Meyer lemon. This one is growing in my garden and the scent is so good and it is definitely my favorite citrus. I am going to put a little bit of zest. You can put orange or you can omit if you like. So a little bit of zest. Okay. And then mix, mix, mix. Then I will recommend to leave it at least two hours in the refrigerator before you pipe it. This will allow the butter to get colder and firmer and your butter will rise even better in the oven. Two hours in the cooler. During this time, I have my Madeleine butter. So this recipe is a really small batch. If you want to make a bigger madeleine or if you want to make a large series, you can just multiply this recipe. But uh, uh, for what I am doing today, that's plenty. So I have my soft butter over here and a little bit of flour. So even though if it's a non-sticky mold, the butter and the flour will help to create a thin, crunchy crust on your madeleine. So a little bit of soft butter. So that mold makes uh, about uh, 20 madeleines. 20 madeleines. On the top of the butter, you want to add a little bit of flour. And then you tap, tap, tap. And then you remove the flour and you put it back on the table. So now my... Uh, Mold is beautifully uh, prepared with butter, soft butter and a little bit of flour. I am going to turn on my oven at 400 Fahrenheit. You want to have the oven pretty hot to really push the madeleine, have this beautiful bump in the middle. All right, let's put our oven at 400 Fahrenheit. Awesome. Two hours later, our madeleine Butter is ready, so let's take it out from the cooler. So now I am taking my Madeleine butter, 
place it into my piping bag. It smells so good. Oh, quick technique to really scrape the piping bag and the batter all the way down. Check this out. So ball scraper, piping bag flat, and then you push. Et voilà. And as you can see, no batter, it's over here, it's all down below. And what I like to do, but this is just me, I like to do a little nut. Voilà. So I don't have my batter that is leaking out of the bag. Makes sense, right? Voilà. And then I'm going to cut the tip of my piping bag. And then I can start to pipe. And then you cut it in the border. So you pipe in the center, halfway, and then you cut the batter. And try to be consistent on your piping. Mm, those beautiful lemon zest. Et voilà, ready to go in the oven. So our oven is at 400 Fahrenheit. We just put our madeleine in. We are putting a timer at two minutes. And uh, after those two minutes, we're going to turn off completely the oven and the madeleine will continue to rise by itself. The reason we have 400 Fahrenheit temperature set is to really push up the madeleine batter. Oh yes. And you see this beautiful dome that's what you're looking for when you do a madeleine. And our madeleine are ready. Let's unmold it. It's still a little bit hot. Oh yes, that's what I call a beautiful shot. Look at this beautiful madeleine. Oh my gosh. You see this little bump that I was talking to you early? This is what truly you're looking for when you make a beautiful madeleine. Mmm. Mmm. So good. And this is it, everyone. This is how to make a beautiful Madeleine from Rose Kitchen, my kitchen, to yours. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe and to hit the little bell so you can be notified each and every single recipe. Until then, au revoir, and see you next time in Rose Kitchen. And I'm gonna get another one. Bye.